Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to day four of this 10 day guitar starter course with me, Andy Crowley. Now in this lesson we're checking out a very recognisable riff that's just played using the chords E, A and D major. Now we've all heard of the term guitar riff before, but it can happen that people don't actually know what it refers to. Now a guitar riff is the short recognisable part of any particular song and it has to be short, it has to be repetitive, so it has to be the same thing that repeats over and over and it's also instantly recognisable as that song. This one is Wild Thing, originally done by the Trogs and it just has these three chords in it and let me give you a quick demonstration now of what we're going to be going for in day four of this course. Now most people watching this video should recognise that as Wild Thing. Uh, I'm not going to say everyone because there's always someone that doesn't recognise a certain song, but most people will and if you don't know it, other people will definitely recognise it if you play it. And that can be a fantastic asset to have, especially in your early days of playing guitar, when you really want things to sound exactly like the record and sometimes it doesn't or sometimes we play simplified versions of songs. It's great when this sounds absolutely like the record. Let's get in for a close up and now and learn this easy song. So to play Wild Thing, we start off in an A major chord and we're gonna play in this fashion incongruence with the rest of the course. If you're not familiar with this A chord and you're more familiar with this way of playing in A or any other way, you can use that, but I advise this one because this riff is constantly changing chord from the A to the E and the D chord and we want to make that change as good as possible and that's the idea of this finger staying down, this anchor finger that we have between all these chords which never quite lifts off, it just slides. So we're going to start off on an A chord and we're going to strum twice. That's twice on the beat, so join in with me now. Three, four, one, two. Be careful not to pick the thickest string, but we can have our thumb on top like this. So with this sound is made when we just pick that string, we're not pressing down and gaining out. We're just muting that string with our thumb. So then I can strum all the strings and that thickest string is not heard. A very handy skill. So we strum twice, then we change to the D after a slight pause and we strum twice but quicker on two down strums. So A, A, D, D. One, two, three and four is the rhythm of it. One, two, three and four. Now to make that change smoother, we can mute by laying our hand over the strings at the sound hole like this. And that will really clean up the sound and make this riff sound a lot better. But it will sound like Wild Thing, even without that muting, it'll just sound a lot cleaner with it. So after that change, A, A, D, D. We then do the biggest and hardest change to the E chord from the D, the hardest change that we've done so far. Then we strum E on the beat, one, two, and then we go back to the D again. So A, D, E, and back to D, and that's the whole thing, that is just what we repeat. Just let me have one slow demo before we play it together. Hopefully very recognisable for you guys. Let's have a go at playing it together really, really slowly. Play along with me, starting from the A chord in two, three, four. To the D and then to the E. One, two, back to a D and four. Let's give it another go really slow in two, three, four. Mute, 
D, D to the E, E chord, 3, D, D. This time we're going to try this riff in a loop. Let's try and play it four times. Remember with these guitar riffs, they have to repeat, otherwise it's not a riff. It has to repeat exactly uh, for it to sound correct and sound and be the song that we're going for. So one more time, but we're going to cycle this whole riff four times from the A chord in two, three, four. A, A, three, and four. E, E to the D, D, D. From the top again. A, A, D, D, E, E, D, D. A, A, D, D, E, E, D, D. And that's our riff, okay? Couple of tips. Remember, we had this thumb just creeping over the top and taking out, muting this sticky string. That thumb wants to be in the same place on the D chord, but it needs to lift higher on the E because it's all six strings that we want ringing out on the E chord, but when we're on a D chord, we ideally want the thinnest four, but it's okay if we just catch that A. It's not gonna sound bad, but it sounds really bad if that thickest E string is um, ringing out on a D chord. We don't want that. Also, especially when changing back from the E chord, we wanna make sure that all our fingers are as far this way as we, they can on the fret, not in the middle, they wanna be right over here, and as much on the tips of your fingers, so curling over this first uh, knuckle or sort of uh, joint in our fingers, curl those right over, and they will ring out. If they're too flat, they will not ring out, and all our chords will sound a bit, a bit flat and not quite ringing out. The correct way, right on the tips, really right on the tips. And that is our riff. When the song first starts, the first riff that you hear in the Trogs version actually stays on the E a little bit longer. So the first round of the riff is the intro and that goes like this. A, A, D, D, E, 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 E. And then they start singing Wild Thing. So it's just on that first attempt that we need to play A, A, D, D, E, two, three. I think that's six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. A, A, D, D, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that happens just on the first repetition as an intro, and then it's the normal riff that we've learnt until you make everything groovy. Till the lyrics say those words, you make everything groovy. And then we have wild thing. Wild thing, I think I love you. We have that section, which is, I'd count it as a middle eight. It's in the middle of the song, and it's longer than eight bars, but it's kind of this, this middle section, uh, and, and a little part, where we're gonna play this little riff. Now this is where we're gonna be playing the more advanced A chord, three in a line, which you may find easier to do, but it is harder to change between the chords for the, with this A, that's why I'm saying it's more advanced. But what we're gonna do here is a thing that guitar riffs do, which is maybe something that's a little unconventional, something, you know, not playing a chord the standard way. This is what happens in real songs, and for this one, we're just gonna lift off of the uh, of the A chord, have all open strings and strum the middle four strings. One, two, three, four, and then we strum those same strings, and that's how we play those four notes. One, two, three, four. Wild thing, I think I love you, but I wanna know for sure. That section, okay? We have four strums, one, two, three, four, 
and we have four of those. Four of, four of that whole thing. So let's try and do that together. In one, two, three, open, down, open, down. Wild thing, I think I love you. Again, strum, open, down, open, down. But I wanna know for sure. Open, down, open, down. So come on and hold me tight. Last time. And then we go back into the main riff, which we need to go back to that other way of playing an A. And if you want to play along with me and play this riff as you remember it, let's give it a go. Two, three, four. D, D, E, E, D, D, wild thing. D, D, E, E, you make my A. everything groovy so one more time wild thing and then one two three four I'll do that one more time one two three four open A open A wild thing I think I love you but I wanna know for sure open A Open A. You can keep your thumb here the whole time because we don't ever want this one ringing out. And it sounds a lot better if we don't play that thinnest string. It sounds a bit heavier, a bit more rocky. So that's how to play Wild Thing by the Trogs. If you'd like a longer chord sheet to be able to follow and know where you are in this song, uh, the link is in the description and in the top corner for the chord sheet for this day four song of this 10 day guitar course. But that's the end of today. So what you need to do now is stop this video and have a practice of Wild Thing for around 10 minutes along with the uh, the other songs that we've learned in the previous days. Give them a quick play through and you'll be ready for tomorrow's lesson, day five, where we're gonna be starting to learn minor chords and learn a lo another little single note lead line that's gonna be really great. Really great song for you tomorrow, brand new one for my channel. So I hope you will join me there. Please subscribe if you're enjoying this course and you like what I do. Check out the rest of my channel for hundreds more uh, beginner's guitar lessons all the way up to intermediate level. But I will see you in day five tomorrow of this guitar course. Take care of yourselves, guys. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.